I was searching for a free open source CAD system and I came across free CAD. I am basically into uh, design and uh, I deal with uh, 3D printing quite a lot. Uh, so I wanted a software which could uh, handle STL files among other files and also uh, something that's user friendly and uh, easy to learn. You can actually go to freecadweb.org uh, and uh, if you click on download, you will be given the options to download uh, FreeCAD according to your uh, operating system, you know, the platform that you use. I, de I actually work uh, with both uh, Windows systems and uh, Mac systems. Another point that I was looking for was uh, compatibility on both systems. Because if I work on my Mac and then if I have to work on the Windows, uh, I could actually transfer the files uh, to and fro and work on either system, which was another aspect that attracted me to FreeCAD. Once you install uh, FreeCAD, uh, you can open it and uh, we are right now on the Mac, so we will be looking at the Mac version of uh, FreeCAD. As you launch uh, FreeCAD, you would be greeted with a uh, splash screen and you would come to the FreeCAD Start Center. Start Center has got uh, a list of your recent files and also some tips and example projects. If you click on those, it will take you to the different links and on the right side, you can see a brief description of uh, each link. Before you start, uh, there are a few things that uh, would be beneficial to understand. If you go to preferences in FreeCAD, mind you that right now we are on the Mac, so most of the controls are Mac related. It's almost the same on the Windows except that uh, some function keys may vary, but it's it's easy to figure out. You can uh, switch between the systems uh, without any hassle. If you go to the general settings, you will see multiple tabs and the last tab you see units. Since I deal with the prototyping of smaller uh, dimensions and 3D printing, I would choose uh, millimeter. And if you want to choose a different uh, set of units, you can do that here. Once you've done that, you can uh, close the start page and you can create a new file by clicking here or going to file and clicking new. This is a view that you get uh, by default when you click a new file and um, here you have the different workbenches. You would mostly be dealing with the part design, uh, the part and the sketcher, uh, which would give us uh, almost all the functions that we need for uh, construction and as you progress, you would go into the other aspects. In this intro, we would be just looking at some of the functions of uh, FreeCAD. Uh, we will not be construction constructing any elaborate uh, models. Uh, that will follow in the coming uh, tutorials. For now, go to start and then select the part workbench and uh, you would be greeted with uh, quite a few options. We will look at the core uh, functions. Here you have the primitives. You have the, the cube, the cylinder, the sphere, the cone. Um, we will now select a cube and the cube gets dropped into our workspace. Here you have uh, the different views. Uh, this is the isometric view and as you hover over different options, you will see what each one represents. Like right now you can see set to right view and you also see the uh, number keys which represent the function. So if you press 1, 2, 3, you will have different views coming up. So now we will press isometric which gives us the isometric view. Coming to selecting the model, uh, if you click on a face, the face get, is highlighted green 
and if you click once more the whole object gets highlighted if you move your mouse away from the object and click outside the whole object gets deselected another option to uh, select the whole object is to move to your left where you have the uh, item displayed in our case a cube click on the cube and you'll see the cube has been highlighted and uh, you will have uh, two tabs here the view and the data the data will have aspects of the cube displayed placement is uh, the three dimensional uh, position uh, of the cube so right now you can see it's x y and z is zero and uh, you can change the parameters at your convenience right now we won't uh, go into that and then you have the dimensions the length the width and the height so suppose uh, right now it's a 10 by 10 by 10 uh, millimeter cube if for example you change the height to 20 and press enter the cube uh, changes its dimension to a 20 millimeter height and if you press here um, it fits the object onto the screen uh, another important aspect is the draw style right? if you drop down uh, many a times you would like to see the internal structure of an object you can choose a wireframe mode and you will see a wireframe structure um, as the model gets complex you will have many more uh, structural lines inside and that this makes it convenient we go back to as is which is the normal mode and um, to rotate on the mac you press your shift and keeping the shift key pressed press your right mouse button which will give you this symbol and you can rotate your model and to move your model you press the command key and then the right mouse button and you can move the mo model about so bring the model back onto the screen the mouse wheel uh, can be used to zoom in and zoom out so as you zoom in and zoom out an uh, interesting aspect that uh, you can remember is that the zooming focuses on where you keep your mouse for example if i keep the mouse at the bottom corner and if i zoom in the object will zoom in there and if i keep my mouse somewhere else and then zoom in it will zoom into that location this is a very useful feature because um, you don't have to keep moving the object around when you zoom in and zoom out we will look at uh, some of the other functions too we'll just add uh, one more object before that we'll change the cube dimension back to 10 mm and uh, we'll add a cylinder and if you check the properties of the cylinder you'll see that the position is again at x y z 0 and in case you want to shift the cylinder to a different position say for example uh, to the center of the cube we know that the cube is also at the same orientation having selected the cylinder move along the x axis by 5 and since the square the cube is uh, a 10 by 10 this would me move the cylinder to the center of the x axis i mean center of the cube along the x axis you can do the same thing for the y 
which will bring the cylinder to the center of the cube. You press apply and press OK. You can rotate the cube and uh, see that uh, the cylinder is at the center. Now, as I mentioned earlier, uh, we can't see the other construction lines of the cylinder. This is where we have the wireframe coming in handy. So, if you take the wireframe mode, you will see the construction line, which is the curved surface of the cylinder. We go back to ASIS and uh, we will just take a look at the Boolean operation. Boolean operation is uh, primarily used to uh, interact between solids where if you want to subtract or add solids together or fuse solids together, we can use the Boolean operation. And in FreeCAD, whatever you want to maintain, you select that first and then the second object. So, right now we will try to uh, make a hole in the cube. So, since we want to keep the cube intact and negate the cylinder from the center, we will select the cube because that is the object that we want to maintain. And on the Mac, we press command and select the cylinder. And as soon as we do that, we see that the Boolean operations are active. In FreeCAD, as we do different functions, we will see that different tools are activated. And this is the Boolean operation where one is subtracted from the other. And if you press that, we will see that the cube and the cylinder changes and we see a cut here and the two objects are hidden and if we rotate we see that a hole is it been made and since this is a parametric uh, software we can change the dimensions as we please another uh, factor is that uh, the hidden objects can be toggled on and off by either right clicking it and pressing toggle visibility or by spe pressing spacebar. So, right now I press spacebar and the cylinder has been active again. We would require this in case we have to uh, change the dimensions or uh, we want to visually see the changes in an object. So, right now uh, you will see that the radius is uh, 2 mm, which is the radius of the circular cross section of the cylinder and the height is 10 mm. We would just uh, do an experiment. We would change the 2 mm into 3 mm, which now has increased the radius of the cylinder. And now you will see that the size of the cylinder, the, the diameter of the cylinder has increased. And let us now hide the cylinder again. And we have a bigger hole. This is uh, very convenient because uh, even after we draw uh, objects, we can go back and then change the dimensions of the object. So, that is it for now and uh, in the next tutorial, we will design a simple object and then as each tutorial progresses, we will go into more and more complex aspects of uh, FreeCAD. So, thank you for now. See you later.